Hi everybody. Today I would like to introduce to everyone the method of implementing single increment forming problem using MATLAB and ACID LS Dana. The content will consist of two parts. Part 1 will be how to generate the two coordinate data over time using MATLAB. Part 2 will be the step to perform the problem on ACID LS Dana. Okay, let's go to the content of the first part. In this content, the truncated corner model will be used. You can see the parameter lie on this picture. We will have radius of the top and bottom core. Here is the R top and R bottom. The depth of the core D or the distance between the top face and the bottom face. After each revolution, the tool will go down a distance of DZ or start deep here, DZ. The tool move from top, from top to the bottom. It will need to take N round. Here, we will have N equal D per DZ. Consider a cycle is 360 degrees. The starting point is also the ending point. The tool will take several steps to go all the way to the cycle. For example, the answer between step will be 90 degrees, so it will take 5 steps to finish the way. Here, the answer is a beta equal 90 degrees. You will take 5 steps from step 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In fact, you will see that it only takes 4 steps starting from step 2. Here from step 2, 3, 4, and 5 is 4 steps to finish the way. But why do I use the 5 steps? Yet, this is related to the time parameter, which will be explained later. The next thing is to determine the x, y, and z coordinate at each row step. The value can be determined using the formula below. Here is Z position and X and Y position. Another important parameter is time. Here's an example. Time to complete a cycle is 5 seconds. Total number of steps to finish the way is 5 steps. Each of the steps correspond to a point in the time. Time starts from 0 seconds at the initial position of step 1 here. Step 1 time is equal to 0. So the time step is uh, 1.25 seconds. We will have the time corresponding to each step as follows. If step 2 is uh, 1.25 seconds. Step 3 is 2.5 seconds. Step 4 is 3.75 seconds. And step 5 is 5 seconds. From here, we can expand to end turn. Each step when moving in an answer is beta. The formulas are defined as below. You can see here our own equation we need. Now we will consider an example with data at below. Radius of the top face is 50 mm. The distance between the top and bottom face is D equal 5 mm. The answer is 45 degree and step deep equal 0 0.5 mm. From here we will have number of the loop in the deep is it is a n equal 10 loop and assuming that total time on is 20 seconds from their data and previous equations as of now is to determine the coordinate or is a as a word is a tool path using MATLAB okay let's open the MATLAB first 
we need to change the working directory of MATLAB. Click the, select the folder as you want. Yeah. We will define more parameters. First is the radius of the top cone. The deep of the corn or written between the top and bottom face, D equal 5. The step deep or DC. The next is the answer of the call and five equal 45. Degree. Total time analysis is a uh, twenty second. Total number of the loop to move the tool from top to bottom face and equal D per DC. Here we will need a parameter counter M equal 1. And the step or beta. We will have number step to move from top to bottom. Now we need a loop to generate the coordinate of the tool. Now we will have x, y, and z data. We can plot the data to view in 3D.
finally, we need to export the VS file to an Excel file. Now, we will have the data of the coordinate here x, y, and z. We need to merge all data into one file, time x, y, and z. Here is the four Excel file. We can create a new Excel file to merge all data. The first column is the time data. Okay, copy and paste here. Here is the time. Here is the data will be used to import into ANSYS LS Dyna to simulate the single increment forming problem. Thank you for watching.